Hey guys, it's Bradley for What's in the Box. We're into part two of the comic haul from Northwest largest garage sale up in Root Shield, Washington. They do it twice a year now. They used to do it three times. They used to have a July showing. They don't do a July showing for some reason anymore. They were saying to leave it open for concerts, but I think they should just do it. But that's my opinion. My opinion don't count for up there. So forgot to include this one in the last video from the dollar bins so there's that now let's roll some more books we've got shadow man zero i think these were in uh dollar bins as well you picked out 10 you got 13 books instead so i picked out uh sorry you picked out 13 books and it was uh 10 bucks so 10 for 13. Boy, I'm all over the place. Uh, Asylum, Shadow Man Zero. We got New Avengers 38. We have Wasteland. No, no clue what this is. Just looked interesting from the cover. We have Mars Attacks, number two. Mars Attacks, number three. That thought was kind of interesting. We got a She Psyblade, which I believe is the first appearance of Witchblade, I believe. No, maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of a different book. So there's that. We got an Avengers number, New Avengers 9. New Avengers 8. New Avengers 41. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen 1 of number four volume one number four of six sorry can't read i just thought that cover looked interesting and this is part of the book so um was that the 13 books i don't even know i think so and then we have marvel tales classic spider-man yeah these are from another distributor so let's move these up here so we'll go back. Marvel Tales presents classic Spider-Man 252. So Marvel Tales. Look, we got an amazing Spider-Man 283. Oh, and I'm going to drop it. Uh, amazing Spider-Man 278. Amazing Man 268, I believe. I just bought this in another auction I was in. 277. 245. Two thirty. So that was one vendor. So let's separate that. Let's keep that separate. Let's put that there. This was part of that dollar bin that if you picked out ten, you actually got three more free. Um, I think that was. Let's let's put that up there. This was. Um, all books for two dollars. So I picked up twenty-five books, I believe. Now we got Ultimate Iron Man. We got a Marvel's X. We got Dread Star number one. And these are all two dollar books. Deadpool Circle Chase number number three. We got this cool Ghost Rider book. I just thought that cover was pretty awesome. We got a Marvel. My team up, Kitty Pride. I think I already have this in another stack over there. Oh well, now I got two of those. Uh, Marvel Team Up, Spider Man and Alpha Flight. Uh, the New Avengers 16. Vision and Scarlet number two. Vision and Scarlet number three. We get Invincible Iron Man 105. I found an Iron Man that I needed actually. I usually go into these, I don't. We have Where the Spider Man, Where the Spider Man. Must be missing some books somewhere. That eh, can't be all of them. Oh, nope, here's the rest of them. Okay, so let's see here. Where are we picking up at for those? These guys right here. 
uh, Spectacular Spider-Man 141. That's in, that's a Mylar. It's interesting to have that book in a Mylar. Spectacular Spider-Man 81. I picked up two copies of this. One for my collection, one to resell. Deadpool 15. Again, they're all two dollars. Infinite Crisis number four. Infinite Crisis number four. I have one of these. I think it's this cover. Uh, Avengers 209. I really need to get all these books into my database. 233, so I don't buy more books of the same. 242, but I've got four long boxes sitting over there. Uh, Avengers 317. 315. Well, the Spider-Man 50, I thought that was a cool cover. I don't have that one. Avengers 259. And Star Wars, I picked that up for a buddy. So, yeah. So, there's all those. That was from another merchandiser. So, we'll set those there. We got these two metal tins that I picked up. I, I, I grabbed the space ball ones and this space invaders for a buddy. There was a big trouble in little China one I really wanted. By the time I walked back, it was gone. So I just grabbed the space balls and uh, these were 10 apiece. So those are cool. Another comic vendor and my box is empty now. We picked up these books right here for $10. We got Avengers 305. 303, 304, 318, a Punisher book I needed for my run, number 14. Um, those are $10. These are 20 I think uh, this is a killer deal for these. We got this one here, the Venom, uh, Venom uh, no, Amazing Spider-Man 24. It's like a $15 book right there by itself, and I paid 20 for this stack. This is a Del Auto. Gabriel Del Auto cover. This is a Del Auto cover too. I'm not quite sure if it goes that way or if it goes that way. I think it goes that way actually. So there's that. I picked up this Dark Avengers number one. This is a big book or can be a big book. Uh, for one point, this is like a $60 book. And then I just thought this, this uh, X-Men book was kind of cool. Um, I don't know if it wraps around. Nope. House of uh, Fall of the House of X variant of number one. Okay, so number one issued by Unknown Comics, Anti Hero Gallery, Comic Traders, and 616 Comics. So it's a cool book. I'll take that. So that is the comic book haul from the Northwest Largest Garage Sale. Spent a lot of money today. Got a lot of awesome books though. Let me know in the comments down below what you would get out of these books that I picked up. What would you be hunting for? Would you have bought some of these books? Would you have passed on them? Would you have bought them to resell? Drop a comment down below if you wouldn't mind for me. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you wouldn't mind as well. Check out my other videos. That's it, man. I appreciate all you subscribers. I appreciate everyone that watches my videos. Uh, that's all I got to say today. Peace out, everyone. Later.